Uh, two horses are dead, and police are looking for those responsible for the slaughtering. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero spoke with the devastated owner. The area I'm standing in is where the horses named Muñeca and Baby Doll played, ate, and slept in together. And according to the owner, it was through those holes made by the people responsible that they were taken through and led to their slaughter. And now this is never going to happen to me. And it happened. Martha is the owner of 10 year old Muñeca and six year old Baby Doll. Martha last saw her horses Tuesday evening around 9 p.m. But Wednesday morning, she walked out to her horses gone. I don't know what to say. Like, to me, this is like a nightmare that I'm living in because that was my baby. Like, my horses are my family. Like, Miami Dade Police's Agriculture Investigative Unit responded to the call. They located the horses across the road from Martha's property dead. These her horses were butchered very much so in the same manner you would any other livestock for consumption. The same way a, a butcher would butcher and quarter a, a cattle or, a, you know, a cow. But Martha, along with others, say this is not a new crime to the area. Not the last this, this is the fourth time in two and a half weeks. One horse was last week. They got caught because the neighbors caught them and they left things. Hopefully, I'm praying to God and the universe that they got some fingerprints, okay? I've had people that have left Miami-Dade County because their horses have been slaughtered. I, I thought I was secure. Police say there is a black market for horse meat in South Florida. If you have any information that could lead to an arrest, you are urged to call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. In Southwest Miami-Dade, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.